third aim in the melody string apparatus is to find the relative density of a given solvent as well as a given liquid. The experimental setup is all the same for all the three aims that is you excite the melody string using DC electric power, create transverse and longitudinal mode of vibration, find out the loop length of a single loop in both the cases. So in the second aim we used an unknown mass, we tried to find out what is the mass of that body with the help of the concept that m by l square will be a constant. In this we are trying to find out the relative density of a body. Here the experimental setup is the same as the earlier experiment. The only difference is that here we will be hanging a body at the end of the string and we will evaluate the length of single loop when the body is hanged in air. Later, we will suspend this body in water. Then we will find out what is the length of the loop in this case. As a third stage, we will suspend this body in kerosene or an unknown liquid. Again, we will find out what is the loop length in this case. So, here we are going to have three quantities. First, loop length when the body is suspended in air. Loop length when the body is suspended in water. And loop length when the body is suspended in an unknown liquid, say kerosene. The same situation will be done in the longitudinal mode also. We will correlate this part of the experiment with the first aim and the second aim where we have found that m by l square is a constant for a given mode of vibration. So from this relation, we can also interpret that m is directly proportional to l square. Mass or weight, you can also interpret, is directly proportional to l square. So this will be the basic concept that we will be using in finding out the relative density of a solid as well as relative density of a given liquid. Now let's discuss the concept of relative density of a solid. You can define it as weight of a body in air by loss of weight in water. So weight in air by loss of weight in water. That will be relative density of solid. We have already seen that Weight is directly proportional to loop length in the case of a melody string apparatus. So, WA corresponds to LA square and weight in water corresponds to loop length in water. So, once you have measured the loop length with the body at the end of the string, if LA is a loop length when suspended in air, and LW is the loop length when suspended in water, then relative density of the solid would be LA square by LA square minus LW square. Similarly, if we want to evaluate relative density of liquid, then it is loss of weight in liquid by loss of weight in water. That is WA minus WL. That is loss of weight in liquid. Loss of weight in water would be WA minus WW. That is weight in air minus 
weight in water. We know that weight is directly proportional to loop square of the loop length. So, the equation becomes LA square minus LL square by LA square minus LW square. So, with this theory, we will be able to evaluate what is the relative density of solid as well as relative density of liquid. So, this is our body. We will try to find out what is the relative density of the material. So, what we have to do is find the loop length when it is suspended in air. So let us call it LA. Then suspend this body in water. So it will experience a loss of weight. And you know that relative density of the body is weight in air by loss of weight in water. So under this condition, you have to find out what is the loop length that is LW. In the third stage, you are expected to find out. So from this, you can find out the relative density of solid. Now, if you are asked to find out what is the relative density of an unknown liquid, then what you can do is, to find the relative density of the liquid, we have to find out loss of weight in liquid and loss of weight in water. So for that purpose, you need the loop length in air, loop length when suspended in water and loop length when suspended in the liquid. So this is the unknown liquid. Actually, I have taken kerosene. So, under this condition, you have to take the loop length. This height you can adjust comfortably by keeping something. So, when suspended in the liquid, you are supposed to find out the loop length. So, with these measurements, you know that weight is directly proportional to square of the loop length. With that relation, it is possible to evaluate the loss of weight in water and loss of weight in liquid and finally calculate relative density of the given liquid. The observation column would look something like this. That is, when the solid is suspended in air, you will be evaluating the loop length. When the solid is suspended in water, you will be evaluating the loop length. When the solid is suspended in liquid, you will be evaluating the loop length. So, you will get LA, LW and LL. We can apply these values here and find out the relative density of solid and relative density of liquid. So, the experimental part would just include Suspending the body in air and checking the loop length. Suspending the body in water, checking the loop length. Suspending the body in unknown liquid and checking the loop length. By substituting the appropriate values, we can find out the relative density of this solid as well as the liquid in which we have immersed it. Relative density of the liquid in which we have immersed it.